This video will show you how to create a Web3 Shopify theme that will work with the new e-commerce kit. My name is Hakim and I'm a Web3 developer working for eBay and my mission is to teach you Web3 development. So let's begin. As usual, I will list all of the requirements on screen now. What is a Web3 theme? Well, Shopify themes are the actual storefront that your users will engage with to purchase your product or service. And a Web3 theme is a store that allows for Web3 functionality. This means that Shopify merchants can support cryptocurrency payments, uh, deploy their own contracts, interact with the blockchain by supporting wallet connectivity through the browser. With that out of the way, Let's open up a terminal and get started. So here we have my root directory. Go into CD into documents and make sure you have the Shopify CLI as I recommended in the requirements and run the following command. So Shopify theme init. Third web theme. Because we're going to be using third web, if you haven't guessed that already. <laughs> Right, let's cd into it and get started. So it's cd and then code. Once you've opened up your VS Code editor or editor of your choice, simply run this following command to install the required dependencies. Again, I'll include this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it in. Perfect, so now we're gonna need three config files for, for Webpack. So I'm gonna create a Webpack, oops, dot common dot js a webpack dot dev and a webpack dot prod i'm going to copy and paste some more code which you can just take from my github repository right so i'm going to paste this in for the config so first we have the path module from node.js that we're importing and below that we have a node polyfill plugin what this does is it allows us to import as we normally do so in the React file that you'll see soon, we have to do the standard import syntax. And so it allows us to do that. And below that, we have the module to exports object. This is the actual configuration. And in the entry objects or the entry property, there's a comment here that says, this is where we will connect our React code to be bundled. So again, yeah, so the React code will go in here or the path to it will go here and it'll be outputted once it's been bundled here in this object. And the name will be dynamic, so it'll depend on the name of the entry uh, of the entry key value. So the path will be the assets folder here, and the plugins is the node polyfill one that we've used. Now, if you're not familiar with Webpack, uh, this module here is just the rule set that we define uh, to bundle well, when we when we are bundling the code so we only want to apply this to all javascript and jsx files so the react file we don't want to include node modules and we want to use babel loader because we want to transpile the javascript to different versions so like this is a different version of javascript because we're using this require syntax but as you'll see with the react one we're going to use the import syntax now we're going to need to create that react component that i just mentioned so in the oh okay we'll need to make a new folder so make a new folder called scripts because it technically is a script that's going to run from top to bottom and you'll see how in just a moment so let's call it uh, island.js and paste in again some more code, but I'll explain what it does. Okay, so here we have the third web dev React package when imported the React one and the React DOM client, and it will execute from the top down all the way to this loop here of the element start for each, where it's accessing each node in the DOM and it's rendering this Web3 island here. Some of the code needs to be refactored slightly. So this desired chain ID doesn't exist anymore. It's just called chain ID. This is just uh, some example code here. Uh, it won't do anything unless you have a deployed contract, a deployed NFT already, but we won't mess with that for now. All that matters is this connect wallet. So this connect wallet is what will allow you to connect 
to the theme itself. So this document that query selector all is just selecting every single HTML element that has the island class. And this web three island is just a fancy word for the web three functionality. Any HTML that has the class name island will have this third web island here wrapped around it and it will support the polygon chain although this can be changed wherever you want and it will render the connect wallet and render nft components from here we will need to register it in the theme itself so let's head over to the layout and theme.liquid right at the bottom skip all of this inside of the body tag you want to scroll down and right at the end paste in this code here so it's just a script and you'll get an error if you don't add in this defer keyword here. So just add in defer. So the source for this script here is the bundled version, not the version that we have over here in the scripts, which is just important to note. And then in our webpack.common, we can move this out the way and oh, it's already been GitHub Copilot. The pathway would just be dot slash scripts slash island.js, so where we just were. Right now, before we actually run this command, we need to add in the code for these two files. So again, it'd just be a case of copy paste. So paste this in for development and in production pieces in as well again they're both relying on the common uh webpack folder here in this from this merge function right now we can run npm run dev to bundle oh no i actually forgot something real quick inside of the package.json so let's open that up so in the package.json let's add in these scripts here so we're calling the webpack cli and specifically the development version so the development file and the progress color is just to color the terminal. Um, now for local development, if you're not pushing it to a live theme, you just want to call this one dev. But if you're doing this for a live theme, then do build. Once you have the three webpack files done, you'll need the babble.rc. RC. Right, and again, paste in the code. Right, now we can run npm run dev. Now this is actually bundling the files as I mentioned earlier. And if we head over to the assets folder, we can see all of these bundled files. Now, you can include them in one single file, but I tried to do that and it actually broke everything. So I wouldn't recommend it with this specific use case using third web. But in a previous tutorial where I explain how to do this without third web, you can actually bundle it all in one. Once we're bundled, we need to add the actual liquid template file. So in the sections, depending on how you want it to be or where you want it to be in the theme editor, we're going to go with the sections. Let's call it um, island.liquid. Then we have this class here of island and the schema which is a liquid template which has these fields for name and presets all we need to care about is the class of island island.js file is looking for all elements of class island and we have one here but obviously if you had multiple you'd have multiple uh, iterations of the connect wallet and now we can do shopify theme push now, if this is a new theme that you don't want to publish, you can pass through the dash dash unpublished flag, so, which I'll do right now. We're going to call it third web. So we're going to call it third web theme. Once it's been successfully pushed, you should have a preview and a theme editor link. Let's first open up the theme editor. And this may take a while. For some reason, it's a little bit slow, but uh, oh, that's pretty quick, actually. Now we added it to the section part. So if I open up section and type in island, there it is. And if we head down to it, now you can't see anything yet, but once we hit save, it becomes visible. We can head back over to the preview link here. 
you scroll down, you have this connect wallet button. And because obviously we don't have an actual NFT contract yet, it's just loading. But all that matters is we have this connect wallet functionality right here. And bam, there we go. Perfect. For more Shopify content, check out how to make a Shopify app with the latest guidelines right here on the screen.